Mike, check, Mike, check. Yeah. Hold down the bike. Hold down the bike. Somebody stay with the bike. There's something that I love about the e-bike community and is that it's at the beginning stages. It's something that is actually growing fast, but it's not, it's not mainstream. Everybody knows each other, especially the content creator. It doesn't matter where you live. There are not that many people in this community uh, doing group rides or being active in the community. And it's even a smaller percentage when it comes to content creators. We know who's doing content and who's just uh, organizing rides, which is something that is also really hard to do. But this video is for my small content creator, the people that do videos on YouTube about riding e-bikes and the community. Around this time in the winter is usually the time where people usually and start uh, hooking up their bikes, doing paint, doing batteries, doing everything that that is going to make their bikes uh, ready for the upcoming season. This is something that the content creators also do, but we go one step further and is we need to <laughs> set up our camera and our camera gear because the thing is that we are also managing a business. Once you get monetized in your YouTube channel, it becomes it becomes a business to the point where a lot of people eventually they just like quit their job and just do this full time. I mean, there's there's a lot of different uh, there's a lot of different things that people want to get out of making videos here, so uh, that's one of them. I have been working for a while to bring the quality of videos that I do in the studio. I've been trying to bring that outside. I already have all the action cameras that you can have multiple insta 360 also the gopros uh, around the bike in the helmet but there's a part in the ride uh, especially in my case which sometimes i like to do uh, mini movies and and specials where you get off the bike and then you start talking to people and and, and recording what's going on behind the scenes. I, I've been working on a rig that I can bring outside and it's not gonna be too heavy or too overwhelming for me to carry around. And that's the other part. I actually need the bag that can handle something like that. I think I found the bag that is perfect for what I wanted. I know my friend, uh, Backup Mike, he did a video about the backpack that he uses. The only problem with that bag is that the bag is more for a rider that is just carrying clothes, batteries, and, and some stuff. I need, and the content creators that make videos about the community, we need a camera bag that can also uh, doubles down as something that you can put your sweaters, you can put your equipment, you can put anything that you want in there. And I think I found the bag. So what we got here is the Shimoda Action X50. The X50 is for 50 liter. And this bag is holding up all my camera equipment, so my rig. Uh, I already did a video about my rig setup, so I'll put the link on the bottom so you can, if you wanna see that video. So basically, if you turn this around, you're gonna see that you have the back panel here. So this is something that you uh, put a flat, well, I'm not going to put a flat because you're not going to be able to see, but I'm going to open just this part here so you can see. All right. So when I open the bag, you see all my camera equipment here. 
at the moment, the way I have it set up is that the rig and everything that I have is detached from the camera. Uh, I mean, there's the flap that I got recently and the lens. I have the mic and I have the, the cage on this side. The system that we have here with the straps, is, it, is very, uh, it is very comfortable. So it's holding the weight and you also have the weight straps here. So you're not gonna have any back problems. So you're gonna be able to have some support here when you, when you uh, attach it on the bottom. And then here you have this straps. So when you put it on the back, then you can just pull it up and then it's gonna be really secure and up front. So it's not gonna be pulling you back. It's gonna be really secure here. You have some different attachments here that, that you can modify according to your body. One of the features that I really like, uh, which is the, the roll-up mechanism on the top, so you can put uh, clothes or you can put anything that you might need to put here besides the equipment. So <laughs> what I got here, you can put some clothes. I have some, some hoodies. <laughs> what else do we have here? I think I put a few things that I, okay, so I have a seat. This is something that <laughs> my friend Tejo, he gifted that to me. This is something that you put here if you want to sit down. So this thing here is, is hitting the IC unit that is inside here. The IC unit is the all the dividers that you have inside for the camera. And that's something that regular bags, they don't, they don't have. Uh, they don't accommodate for people that are actually making videos. So you roll it like this, and then you have the clips here so you can close it. So like the look is, is crazy. And, and you can go even higher if you want. I have to be able to enjoy the ride and also have the equipment that I need to make the videos that I want to make. So this is my setup. I have the flexibility to enjoy my ride. This is something that is not uncomfortable at all. I feel really secure, even though <laughs> I have like maybe 30 pound worth of camera equipment in the back with the, with the camera, the lens and the frame. So maybe this is something that you might want to try if you are a content creator. Uh, doing videos <laughs> like this on a bike, on an e-bike. Uh, this is something that is really exciting to me. So I want to be able to push it to the limit. All right, so I'll see you guys on the next one. Ciao.